cool, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. Hope you're having a great day. And thank you for joining me on your life path number for 2020. Yay. Happy New Year's. Congrats. So you're going, uh, what are you talking about, Debbie? Some people are going to know what I'm talking about. Other people are not. Uh, they already got my nose itching. <laughs> okay. So this is the way I do it. Other people add up the numbers differently. And, but this is the way I do it, and this is the way Spirit was like, get, show people the numbers, and by the numbers, this is what I got information for 2020, prediction of 2020, of your life number. So it could be 1 through 9, or it could be a master number, which is 11, 22, or 33. Also, uh, some people don't believe that 33 is a master number, but I'm going to use it as such. Okay, so you know that this is the universal number for this year is four. So how do I get four? Well, 2020. So then we say two plus zero plus two plus zero equals four. So that will be the universal number four. Then you will take your life path number, excuse me, and you will add it to that. So an example is my life path number is three and so i would add it to the four and so i'm going to be a seven so the information that i'm giving to you will be from the number seven i, I would look at number seven um so here's uh here's another example so you're going how do i get my life path number debbie so this is how you do it you take the month that you were born, the day that you were born, and the year that you were born. So you would take your month, so say it's May, which be then it would be the fifth month, correct? And then you would take, say the day is the 15th, so then you would put 15, and then you would take your year, say 1975. So then you would add the 5, the 15, and then you would add up the 1975, which equals 22. So you would add the fifth month, the day, 15, which, so you would break down the 15. So one and five equals six. So it'd be the fifth month, six, because you added one and five together, which made six. And then you would add the 1975, which is 22. And if you add it all up together, it's 33. So now that would be a master number to me, or you would break it down. Any other number, unless it's 11, 22, or 33, then you would break it down. So then I would add three plus three equals six. So if I had a master number of 11, then I would look at the master number 11, or I'd also look at the number two of what's gonna happen for your life in this year of 2020. So you would break it down so it's a one digit number, unless it's an 11, 22, or 33. I hope that makes sense okay so again mine is a seven because my life path number if I break down my month my day and my year it all goes down to three I'm adding the four because it's 2020 so I'm going to look at the number seven I hope that makes sense if it's 11 22 33 add them together so you could have 11 would be the master number 11 or 22 or number two 22 would be the master number 22 or 4, the, and uh, 33 could be the master number 33 or 6, whatever you're wanting, choosing whatever resonates with you. Okay, I hope this makes sense. This is exciting. So, the very first 2020 life path number, number 1. So, if it adds up that you got a 10, then it would be a number 1. Okay, so... For number one in 2020, this is what I received. Okay, this will be a year for you to be creative, very creative. It will be the uh, the year to be recognized. It will be the year that your hard, hard work, excuse me, your hard work will be recognized. So to me, it's one is the beginning and you're going to be planting a lot of seeds, but it's also the, the space of where your... Um, receiving your harvest this year so if you've been like doing your own business and you're oh my god debbie when is it going to catch on i would say it would catch on this year and it won't be the it will be just the start of it so if you say you're w wanting to make ten thousand and you make ten thousand this year it would just be the start of it you would probably pull vault a little bit more further with the money i hope that makes sense it will also be the year if single you will meet someone who will recognize you for who you are 
So in the romance, if you are single, you will connect with somebody that will see your truth. It will see, um, it, they, they will connect with the root of who you are. You will um, be getting, an, it will be joyful and it will be in a childlike manner. You guys will probably banter back and forth and have a lot of joking around and having fun. And it will be the year that they'll recognize you. So you'll be recognized. If you don't want to be recognized, you don't want to be in a relationship, you're going to have to hide up because I'm seeing people, ooh, she's interesting or he's interesting. Hmm, <laughs> I'd like to meet that person, okay? So if you are married, you will be acknowledged more or you will need to acknowledge your partner more, okay? So like say if your partner is uh, a number one, I would start recognizing them more. Uh, thanking them more, appreciating them more, and that will make the, the relationship even solid and more stronger. Um, if you do not, if you're in a, and if you're in a, not at such a good relationship and you're number one and your partner does not recognize you or you don't recognize the one, and then I could see a splitting because then it will be a new beginning with a new partner. So you would have a chance to uh, be with someone else because it will be new beginnings. So number one is new beginnings, we get that, but there's a lot of times it's collecting the harvest of what you have done for the last nine years. And it's also the the year of planting the seeds. And also number four, I was saying um, on my prediction video that number four is planting the seeds too. So this is going to be a lot of new beginnings for you this year, a lot of new beginnings. Great positive, great financial gain, I see. It will be a year of success. It will be a year of balance, understanding. Um, you re reap, reap your rewards, I was saying that before. Plant the seeds, create the success. Do the beginning, the beginning of the new recovery, be beginning of everything. So it's like, oh, I, wanted, I want to be healthier, Debbie. This would be a perfect year to um, not do a diet, but it would be a life path. Do you mean it would be something that you could be doing for years and years and years? Tra uh, training and creating a new way of the way you're looking at life, if it's even connecting to spirituality, if it's connecting to health, wealth, whatever I see it be being successful. But you, of course you have to you have to do the work to it, but can't just sit back, but it's going to be kind of easier. It's not going to be that hard work that you've been doing in the last year. So I feel like it's reaping the words, words, oh God, reaping the rewards, excuse me. So you're going to be a leader. You're going to be creativity and you're going to get recognized this year and success. So those are your words, leader, creativity, recognize and success. And that is for the life path number one when you add your life path and the year four because of 2020 and that that is what's going to happen for you this year isn't that fantastic yay <sighs> okay so now we are on life path number two so if you add the number four and your life path and you're adding it up together and it turns out that you round up all the numbers and it turns into two so this is for life path number two okay so the words for uh, life path number two is connection create and romance yay so people that are like single or wanting wanting uh, a little love in there <laughs> this is a good year for you to connect okay so this is the year you will create relationships um, like marriage even having a baby friendship, business partner, or making your or already making your relationship that you have stronger. To me, it's a, a very connecting number. Connecting in romance will be, I feel like it would be at ease that you could find your life partner, you could find your business partner. So this is a year that if you're wanting to create a business and you're thinking, oh God, I hope I can find someone that will help me with the business or being a partner or or even uh, people to work for you, this is a good year for that. If this is a year that you're looking for someone that is working around your home, this is a fantastic year too. Gardener, maid, 
all that that kind of stuff okay so or even connecting to a home connecting to a car I know people are like that's material Debbie how does that work everything has a vibration everything has a frequency sound and water to it and if you're wanting to connect you're hoping and wishing for that home and you're number two this year this is a good chance that you'll find your home this is a good chance that you'll find that car that you've been looking for this will be the chance of like I said the class the business so it's a lot of connecting this year a lot of connecting okay it will be the also be the year of the truth okay it's you'll be uh, the year that you will stand in your truth you're not going to um, you're just gonna be like nope <laughs> I, I'm gonna see it for what it is so if you're in a relationship and you're you're thinking oh it's not the best and you're gonna start seeing the truth so if you're a number two or even I think if your partner is a number two and say I'm, I'm hoping this is not true I'm just using this as an example but say that person is having an affair you're like hmm I wonder if they're having an affair you'll probably see it this year you'll see it if you're a number two or they're a number two um, you will see the truth in business matters you'll see the truth in in your health you'll see the truth in family members so number two again is going to be connection and creating I want you to create things you'll be very creative this year your ideas put them on paper create them trademark them do them so it's like oh Debbie I want to be doing videos this year this is the year to create this is like I said it's connection so you'll be connecting with people people will connect with you so this is a wonderful year for to do that and if you even if you're being shy this would be the year to try to pop out of that shyness and connecting with people okay and so um, okay so desire home career you'll have great communications and connections your insight will be stronger I wrote all this stuff down the spirit showed me okay you will find that creativity and insight will help you in so much in all areas of your work you will need to be acknowledged you'll need to acknowledge other people and have them acknowledge you so if you're wanting to um, say get a business partner I would already send out the thank yous even if you haven't found the business partner yet this is the year for acknowledgement so I would say thank you thank you universe for my great business partner or thank you thank you universe for my great clients that are coming to me being acknowledgement there's got to be some kind of acknowledgement there so that they can come to you uh, you will make your home very cozy and secure if you're wanting to start if you will need to start to focus on your health it's a great year to focus on you to start that diet to start that uh, walk exercise and it can be created you can create great success so this is the year if you're doing the exercise of um, finding the right diet for you right finding the right health regimen that you want this is a good year for that connection again everything is connecting this year connecting in all areas of your life is a number two so if you're wanting to connect and you're wanting to get people to you in romance business home car health this is the year to do it this is the year to be grateful for it and this is the year to start it I can't tell you what to do but it will be easier this year for you yay <laughs> okay so now we're going to life path number three so number three would be again if you do your life path number and then you add the four to it and it rounds up to three this is life path number three okay so the word for life path number three for the year 2020 is communication expression and spirituality so those are some big words for this year 2020 the life path number three is communication expression and spirituality okay so this will be the year of expression it will be the year to live in the moment to live in spontaneity go on that trip this is the year to express yourself even if you're if you're wanting to do acting I would go into the acting thing if, if there's any career or any um, space where you think you need to be heard this is the year to express that this is the year to have your expressions be heard this is also the year to do the spontaneity go on that trip do whatever you're like uh, you know what I want to dye my hair bright pink this year go for it this is the year for the expression I want to shave it I want to turn it dark I want to um, 
take a hula hoop classes or I want to, you know what I mean? Very avant-garde things. This is the year to do it. This is the year to jump into that joy, jump into that exciting, exciting year. Okay. Um, it's also the year that you can connect to the spiritual realm. If you're into that, if you're into wanting to connect, you're wanting to meditate better, you're wanting to connect to uh, spirits that have passed or doing ghost hunting or connecting to the spirituality of you. This is the year of connecting to that other realm. It will come to you with ease, asking the universe to show you the people that can help you with uh, connecting and seeing and being intuitive or being an empath. If you're working in the new age or being in uh, consciousness of the health, consciousness of in this 3D world, uh, connecting to the other realm where there, there is no consciousness, but just the is, finding those information, finding that essence. This is a good year for that. This is a really, really good year for that. So um, if you want me to help you with that, psychicw.com. Okay. So be careful with spending money. Save as much as you can. It will be the year of responsibility. You will be, uh, be careful not to step in the negative. So again, it's connecting into the spiritual realm and, and being security, bringing the security. So you're going to feel a little, uh, I think the reason that they're saying not to spend so much is tr to be grounded in this earth plane and making sure, not, and when you're doing the spontaneity, making sure that you your responsibilities are taken care of first, and then this is a good time to jump. Okay, so um, I feel like that's what they're saying to you is save your money or be responsible with your money. And then the stuff that you have on the side, use that for the, the spontaneity, not to, to um, say, oh, here's my life savings and I'm just gonna do the world trip. I'm hearing, er, be a little careful on that because I feel that you will need that money for the next year. <laughs> and I think that's why they're saying that. Okay, try not to uh, allow, this is the year of not allowing other people's opinion of you to go deep in. This is the year of, of learning to say, you know, thank you, that's your perception, I'm gonna let that go. This is a perfect year to uh, connect with that. So if you're saying, you could be saying, what are you thinking, Debbie? Well, it could be that say you have a friend and you're going, you know, I loved them, but I really am not getting along with them anymore. I Be cordial to them. I'm not saying to let them go, but step back a little bit. Step back with the people. This is the year to allow and know that it's okay and to trust that you can step away from people, places, and things that don't resonate with you anymore. And that's what I mean by going into the negative because I don't really believe in negative. I just, things that are lower vibration from you might not be lower vibration for them. So this is the year to step back from people, places, and things that don't resonate with you anymore. Get rid of it, sell it, or be cordial to it, okay? And give it to people that could use it. Okay, um, in relationships for this year, you'll want to bring joy in having, um, you wanna bring joy in, especially if you're having a difficult relationship. If you're wanting to save your relationship this year, you would want to bring the joy in. I would not talk about religion or politics this year. If you're in a romance thing, it will it will help destroy it. I'm not saying that you guys will part or split or whatever, but it, they're saying that the politics and the religion for the number three this year, or if your partner's a number three, step back. And if you're saying, well, we have a great relationship, I can say what I want to say and they can say what they're saying, great. I'm talking about relationships that is a little shaky here, a little shaky. That is going to put more salt in the wound if you're um, looking at it in that space. You will want to um, find, like I said, you'll be finding, if you're single, you'll want to find them or you will find them in a joyful place. So wherever you are, enjoy so if you like biking or if you like hiking join a hiking club join a biking club that's where you'll probably find your partner they're saying that number threes will find a partner if single in a joyful state so if it's climbing the mountain it's 
um, whatever it is that gives you joy, play music, then go and listen to music or play music for somebody or go to a party that has music in it. So go to the places where it's giving you joy, not having to say that you have to go to the bar. So, you know, I'm a cook, so I'm going to the restaurant or I'm going to the grocery store and who knows, you might find a partner there because you're in your joy because your vibration is going to rise and it would be fantastic. Um, <clears throat> it will not be a dull year for you. A number threes, it will not be a dull year for you. There will be a lot of adventures coming your way. And I just feel like there's going to be great connections and great communication. So if you're wanting to communicate, download, connect in any form, you have to allow it. It's not just going to just pop up to you. You have to ask for it, but I feel like it will be great adventures and great connections and it will be something to write about, something to talk about. Um, in health for number threes, I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. If you're very, very sick, you will hear great news that it will fall back. It will, that they will find a cure or, but I'm seeing it's going, stepping two steps forward and then one back. It will be one of those kind of years. It's not going to be, you know, ta-da, I'm healthy. I feel like there's going to, you're going to step forward to, and then you go back and you're going to be like, oh no. And then you go step forward to, and then you go back. But it will, it will connect to it. You'll find the right people. You will find um, the connections that you need. Um, you might have to do a little bit extra work if you're wanting to lose weight or get into that fitness. It's, it's not going to come to you as easy as that I was seeing like number two and number one. It's, I feel like uh, I'm going to have to step 10 more steps more than Sally over there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I just feel like, and I know it. Debbie, don't tell me that. But it's, it's a, a year of hard work. Uh, I feel like mentally connections that way, things that way is going to be easy, but more the physical work, it's going to be harder. Okay. So what did I say the words were? The words were, um, the words are communication, expression, and spirituality for you this year for number three. Yay. I think that's fantastic. Okay. So now we are on number four life path number four so you take the 2020 so four and four you know could make eight but that's down the road so life path number four when you add your life path and the year 2020 together okay the words for life path number four this year of 2020 is intention learning teacher and connect okay so this year you cannot play it easy. This is the year to organize. This is the year you have to plan. This It has been easier for you before. Now you truly need to focus on your intentions and you have to focus on your intentions in the beginning of the year. Then if you focus on your intentions in the beginning of the year, then at the end of the year, it will start, um, your harvest will start coming to you. Will it be the full harvest? No but it will be the beginning of the harvest. So you have to have great, 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 great intentions this year. You have to have plans this year. You will have to one, two, three, four, A, B, C, four, and then it's gonna bring security to you this year, okay? So the, um, and it will be the seeding of things. Like I said, if you have great intentions this year, say the first three, four months of the year and you're doing A, B, C, you're doing your affirmations, you're connecting your building say a business and you're doing one two three four then by the end of the year i st start seeing the great harvest of that so that um because i'm the same way i don't have that much patience either but it will be it will be wor really 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 worth it and it, can that go for all the numbers yes but i just feel like this year for number four it's really just being focused focus 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 the family might not like it but um it is just going to be the way it is. You're going to have to focus on whatever it is that you're desiring. Um, this is the year that your dreams will start to blossom uh, again at the end of the year. It is also a stubborn year for you for nothing. You can't do anything, excuse my language, half-assed this year. You cannot. You have to be very determined. Okay, so you're going to make, you're going to make also great security this year. So you're going to have the four corners of your life you're going to um, want to create security in it. And what I mean by that is, uh, say, security of your home, security of your health, security of your love, security of your joy. You know, making the four corners, making a home. 
if you're saying, well, I don't really need the home, then you're going to have to create some kind of four corners, like a table. Of, I, I'm going to focus on my joy. I'm going to focus on my health. I'm going to focus on my romance and I'm going to focus on my money and then just focus on those four. Or it could be spirituality and love or, you know, business or friendship or whatever. So create your four corners this year. Have that intention. It, it's going to be some work on it. It's going to be some work on it. But the outcome is fantastic. The outcome is fantastic. So this is also the year for security. So for security for you, you could get, um, this could be the year that you buy the house. This could be the year that you're buying the car. This is whatever gives you security. You're saying clothing gives me security or um, money is, gives me security. Then that will be where you need to focus your intention on. And that will, like, like I said, it will blossom towards the end of the year. Okay. Um, again, you can't be half ass. <laughs> Excuse my language. Okay. Um, great year for creating a business, ideas, or just being creative. This is the year to acknowledge them and get them out of the closet. Because I feel like the number four life path, a lot of people in that, at that time of their life, when they're doing the year of a four, they have great ideas. They're like, oh yeah, I got this idea and this idea and I should do that and I should do that. And that by the end of the year, again, like here, you're like why did I not do that? You know what I mean? Why did it not get done? So this is the year that you have to get it out of the closet and start pursuing it. Um, sorry for romance. And this is, this is just what I'm hearing from spirit. This is not verbatim. This is not etched in stone. Okay. But it says for romance, it will not be an easy year to connect. Not saying you can't, you will or are going to be very picky in your selection. So you're, this year, you're going to be very, very picky about your selection. There's certain people or certain kind of a relationship you're wanting or desiring. And I'm not saying that you can find a great person, but you're just going to be really picky about it. And you might overlook somebody. So, I mean, that's your choice to say, you know what? I don't want to be picky this year, Debbie. I'm going to work on that. That could be one of my intentions of stop being so freaking picky. It has to be six foot two, eyes of blue, look like Robert Redford, right? <laughs> so just saying it's um you're gonna be really picky this year so kind of maybe remind yourself stop 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 um you could create a, to me in the romance again you could create a great friendship but i just don't see it being the in love person but that's what they're showing me um if you're in a relationship this is the year that you would want to create the friendship this is if you're in a uh, romance or if you're already in a relationship you have a partner and you're saying i want a little bit more spice in it this would be the year to be more in the friendship area and bring some joy into it so do a lot of childlike things that will help save the marriage it's like go to the park blow some bubbles you know hop skip skip hop or whatever you got a hopscotch <laughs> play games do that kind of thing do a lot of childlike things go swimming do a lot of child th things together and that will be that will help connect that will help with the relationship and and um making it solid you will need to work on your communication this year uh i, I look you're looking for stability this year in relationships and home at work whatever so if even if it's a career i can see it going really good if you put your intentions into it if you're just going to step back and go i hope this year is good and not do anything about it it's not going to change it's not i don't see the luck coming up in that it's it's you're going to have to have great communication have the person understand you or if you have uh people working for you or around you acknowledge them and that will start the great communication bring some joy into work that would make it connect better that would help your business or work environment better it cannot be so stiff this year the four four life path forth this year of 2020 cannot be stiff so again the words were intention learning teacher and connect and, and the word teacher is you can teach other people or that you're going to find the mentor for you this year okay so again have the four intentions and create the stability create that table and just focus on that for this year okay not be all over the place <laughs> all right so that's great thank you for life path number four okay 
So now we are on life path number five. Okay, add the four to your life path number and it rounds it up and it turns into five. Okay, so life path number five for 2020. So that will be your life number for this year is the words are freedom, seeking and allowing. Okay, so you will bring freedom into your life. You will be looking for freedom. You will be seeking and it, it could be for a mystery or seeking whatever it is your purpose in life and you'll be you'll have to allow this will be a year of allowing okay so this will be the year of seeking seeking for purpose seeking for freedom um you will be in the place of understanding your life purpose wow yay wouldn't that great a lot of people are wanting to to find that out I can help you with that, psychicdebbie.com. <laughs> you will be passionate about helping others this year. You'll be able to motivate others, uh, bosses, family, friends. You'll be able to motivate and raise and create abundance, health, and love. So it's creating, it's motivating, it's going to be teaching, it's going to be seeking. So you're going to be seeking that love, you're going to seek that business, you're going to seek that wealth but i feel that you will be able to create it this year this will be a good year of you creating so be very successful in that if you're starting up a business or you're even in the business and starting creating creating new ideas with that again because you're seeking because you're going to create the money the business so that you can be in freedom so that you're not so because life path number four was really uh, 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 uh. this year you're going to I want to put your head behind your head and, and relax and want that freedom, freedom to express yourself, freedom to uh, wherever you're wanting to go. So you'll be seeking that and you'll be looking for it, but I'm, but you have to allow it. Okay. So again, you'll be able to motivate and create for other people and you'll be able to motivate and create the abundance, the love, the joy, the happiness that you're, you're desiring. Um, this year in romance if single you will have many suitors Ooh. so this is the year to go out and have fun i'm not saying that um you have to be in a serious relationship but this is the year that you can be a little bit pickier last year it was like you're being too picky this year you're going to have a lot of choices so romance department i'm seeing a lot of people going uh towards you you can't sit in your bedroom and just say oh well debbie said they're just going to come and pick me out. No, you have to go to the parties and you have to do your things. But I feel like there will be more opportunities. There will be op more opportunities and more choices for you. Um, so if you if you go if you're in a relationship, you um, with that being said, life life path number five this year, if you're in a relationship, you're going to want the freedom from it. So you're not going to want um, you're not going to want that relationship that's real clingy. You're, if you're in a relationship and you're saying, oh, I'm married for 20 years, that's fine. I'm not saying to let them go, but I'm just saying maybe, you know, give it some space. So it's like if your husband or wife or whatever is wanting to like some mountain biking, but you don't, you like being by the ocean. So I, I would see it as let them go bike riding and you go to the ocean. Do you know what I mean? Not having to do everything together this year. This is more of a year of you do your thing, I do my thing, and then we'll meet in the middle. So if I feel that if you don't, if you're, you or your life partner is a number five, say your partner is a number five and you're like clingy to them, they're going to be pushing you away. This is the year that they're going to be like, I need my freedom this year. So don't be too overly uh, especially if you're single and you're in a, you're starting a relationship do not be clinging it to a number five this year because they'll be you you either part or they're going to push you away push you away push you away until the part you, you know it's not going to last so if you're in the life path number this year 2020 and that's not just for romance this is for career this is for life this is you seeking out your freedom you're seeking out your purpose you're seeking out who you are this and then having to allow that so that's a that's a little bit of a kicker there is with number five uh life path this year we have a hard time you're gonna have a hard time kind of allowing like oh i'm not used to this i gotta allow this year yeah you gotta allow this year okay um 
because I don't feel like you're going to want to commit to too many things. And it's that's why it's going to be a little bit hard of, again, it's, it's, it's not clinging this year. It's freedom, searching. You're searching this year. So you might not get all the answers this year. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so a, per a perfect connection for you this uh, if you're you're doing a life path number this year would be another person that has a life path number five also, or has a life path number three because we're all all of those numbers or even thirty three okay because they're all seeking also so you'll have an understanding oh that person's seeking spirituality or oh, that person is seeking purpose or that person is seeking business or whatever so this is a good year to have friends relationship business partners with the, the, the same life number life path number of 2020 as you are it's a perfect time for that your goals if you focus on your goals they can be fulfilled but i just don't see you holding on to them really tightly so like if you have a great idea I don't see you being like, that's it. That's the number. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I feel like you're going to be like, mm, let's see how this works. You're going to be kind of apart from it, apart from it. Okay. If you're, if you have an, are having a health issue, boy, I can't even talk. If you're having a health issue, you will find the right doctors. Am I saying that you're going to be overly cured? I, I can't predict that, but this is the year that you will find the right cures or the right regiment or the right pills or the right doctor or the right people to connect with. So I feel like the connection there will, uh, you will have a good connection. You will find the right people to help you. Um, if you're wanting to uh, lose weight or get into a health regiment or saying I'm going to walk every day or I'm going to ride my bike every day or doing anything healthy or even just reading or meditating, this will be the year that that will come to you easier because I feel that you're not going to worry about what other people are thinking. There's that freedom thing and you're going to go, I'm just going to do it my way. I'm going to do, I'm going to lose my exercise the way I want to. I'm going to ride the bike whenever I want to. I'm going to read whenever I want to. So there's going to be the freedom element of there. So you're going to breathe, you're going to enjoy, and then it's going to work out for you. You're not going to be so worried about whatever anybody else is thinking. So, the thing is, is don't be, this is not the year to be strict on yourself. This is the year to focus on yourself, find the mystery, find, seek the freedom, do whatever it is that you need to do to get the freedom to be able to be your own self, but allow it, allow, allow the acknowledgement, allow the money, allow the ideas, allow, get out of the closet and present it to the people in the world. Okay. So remember your words are freedom, seeking and allow this year for the life, life path number five. Hey, <clears throat> so I'm going to drink here. Because they've got a lot of numbers. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so life path number six. Yay, number six. Okay, so the words are family, nurturing, and sacrifice. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This will be the year of nurturing yourself and others. It will be the year you will mentor, teach, and give information to other people. So if you're just saying you're wanting to all of a sudden be a soul coach, or you want to be a coach for a football team, or you're wanting to teach, or you're wanting to go to Africa and help the poor or people on the streets here, this is the year to do it. This is the year to do it. Or you will be doing some kind of mentoring. I feel like it will come up to you anyways. You'll be like, I'm teaching again. <laughs> I'm going to be the mentor again. Yep, this is your mentoring year. So you can learn new things for yourself too so that you can teach other people. Or you'll be teaching. You're going to be teaching and being a mentor. No, it doesn't matter. For And you're going to be nurturing other people. People, places, and things, and family members. It doesn't matter. You'll give information. If someone in your family is ill or needs help in any form, you'll be the chosen one. So even if you have nine brothers and sisters and mom's sick, you'll probably be the one that's going to go and have to help. So um, even if you're thousands of miles away, somehow you're going to have to help in that way. They're going to ask you to help. You are wanting to rescue many. You'll be, um, you can be in great success 
but uh, you can create great success and you can help other people by mentoring them and creating you can great and you can create great success through abundance money health love joy but making sure that you're not hard on yourself okay so what I mean by that is when you're taking care of other people we never think of ourselves do we when you're a teacher we don't allow us to, to get the accolades or the acknowledgement or the money or whatever so that's why I'm saying you can create great success in any way but you're gonna have to have that flow you're gonna have to allow and then give and allow and give this is gonna be one of those years it's like the ocean I can give but I have to receive also you not can't just keep on giving and giving and giving um, you will bring comfort to many they will be very drawn to you so it doesn't matter like I was saying before everybody's gonna be drawn to you they're probably gonna be asking you the questions I, I mean I get that all the time I think a lot of times when you're very spiritual and you have a lot of light around you I'll, I'll go somewhere and people will ask me and I'll be like why are you asking me out of a thousand people you know what I mean but it, when you are in that vibration and you're gonna be in the vibration of number six it will be a lot of nurturing taking care of your children taking care of your family and you'll be okay with that making your home cozy making you cozy this is the year of say you're wanting to revamp your home you revamp your style where you're very that through the space of where it makes you very very comfortable this is the year to do it this is the year to do it so if you're saying oh I want to re remodel my home this would be the year to do it for to give you that comfort I, I want to um, put a regiment in that I read every night then that's going to give me security and make me feel secure then do it whatever makes you feel secure this is the year to do it this is the year to do it okay um, this is the uh, for relationships this will be the year that you can give comfort to them but don't get again um, I'm sounding like a mom don't you're gonna be drawn to people that you're wanting to fix <laughs> you're gonna be drawn to people if you're single you're gonna be drawn to people that you want to comfort you're gonna be in that comfort stage and make sure that they don't take advantage of it so so it's like yeah I'll comfort you but you got to comfort me too so it's like because they're gonna be drawn to you because you're gonna be in that teacher mode you're gonna be in the mentor mode you're gonna be in that space of let me fix you and they're gonna go okay I won't do a thing so you're gonna to have to make sure that you're not giving too much and that's in anything work health not giving too much not doing too much okay so um, like if health like if you're dieting don't diet over diet it's like I'm not eating nothing I'm gonna eat a, just a you know a leaf it's like no too much so you don't want to be taken advantage of okay career you will place you will want to place yourself in the career position as of a, in a leadership position so what I mean by that is um, this is the year to go for the the bonus this is the year to ask for the raise this is the year to if there's another position where you can be in, in charge of people this is the year to go for it this is the year if you're wanting to teach or be a leader in the leadership program this is the year to do it this is the year to go to your boss and say I, you know Debbie says I'm in the leadership place no but uh, you're you're gonna be vibrating in that leadership and wanting to go for that and this would be a good year for to go for it and um, allow it to happen to you your your vibration is gonna be in that space so and you're gonna be doing it anyways you're gonna be doing it anyway so you might as well get paid for it right if you're wanting to create a business this is a perfect year it resonate if it resonates with you okay it will be a year of great fulfillment uh, the completion of a project so maybe when you a couple years ago you were starting a business and you haven't completely put it out into the world yet or you created and you made a, an object or something that in you or you wrote a book and you haven't put it out into the world yet this is the year to do it this is the end of the project this is the year to do it okay um, it is your year, year to start your own business or project or idea you'll be lucky and be grateful for it okay love and romance single be careful not to rescue others like I was saying before be attracted to others that need you or are loving you so when dating have them do for you first then allow then take care of them so see what they're gonna do for you before you sit there and go 
clear off the table and like, I'm doing everything for you and you'll love me. No, you can't do that. You can be nurturing, but don't be over nurturing. Okay. If you're in a relationship, again, don't do so much for your partner. Allow your partner to do for you. This is a year for you to, um, snuggle in together. Okay. Let me do for you. You do for me and let's snuggle in together. This is going to be a year of, uh, I'm not saying that you won't do travel, but like, say you're in a relationship, this is the year that would be fantastic. Like in the winter, having the fireplace cuddling up in, you know, with a blanket and drinking a, a glass of wine and having some meat and cheese or something that kind of romance, it's going to be the snuggly let's be together. Uh, let's do a, just a weekend trip. Uh, being t just being together, not with a group of people. This would be a fantastic year. And if you're in a relationship or you're even starting a relationship, this is a year to just be more secluded to yourselves. I'm not saying not to be with your friends or whatever, but it's not the year of, oh, let's do all the parties, you know, because I feel like it will run you down. It will run you down. This is a near year to nurture yourself and nurture your soul and nurture your body. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, to be healed or to heal it, you will have to be in a nurturing way. So if you're sick in any form, if you're um, wanting to do a weight loss program, it has to be very soft, very nurturing. It cannot be a very harsh, like I'm quitting smoking, I'm quitting drinking, I'm quitting meat, I'm quitting this, I'm quitting all that, and I'm starting that on Monday. It's not going to work for you this year. <laughs> it, you're going to have to be, it's going to have to be soft one step at a time. Okay, I'm just going to start walking. And then I'll do that for a month. And then the next month, I will uh, take the carbs out and do that for a month. And then the next month, well, I'll just start doing weights. You will it will not um, if it to, uh, whatever way to heal yourself, or to be in the health or in the truth of who you are, you got to be it's got to be in a nurturing way. It's got to be in a nurturing way this year. So your words are family, nurturing, taking care of other people, nurturing yourself and not over sacrifice yourself okay because the word sacrifice is on there so make sure you're not kind of check in am i sacrificing myself nope okay great yay <laughs> okay okay so this is the year of power success and ease for you so your words are power success and ease allow 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 because if you um, allow it. It's going to be 33. Good year. Good year. And if you put it down into three and three equals six, and you look at the uh, life past six, it's comfort, it's coziness, it's snuggling. It's, ah, so that's why I'm saying you can have great success and have that security and comfort at the same time, if you allow it and you, um, don't keep on changing your intentions. Okay. So your desires and your power and your success could be very, very, very good this year for number 11. Okay. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone for listening. I know this is a long video, um, but thank you so much for listening. Hoping it connects with you. If you want me to help you with your blockages, finding your purpose, seeing what the future holds for you, connecting to other realms for you, please, please get a hold of me at psychicdebbie.com. I have a bunch of other YouTube videos. Please share, like, and comment and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a fantastic 2020. Blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.